Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. We're still working on this new template for Touch OS D on iPad, and we're making a new template for Tractor, which is usually what we use when we do our EGRB DJ set. So. Yeah, one of the reasons why we make our own template, actually, in reality, there are a lot of there are a lot of templates floating around on the web that you can download for free. Some of them are just like really good. Like there is one that you can get at arobia.se, which is a very gorgeous template. But the problem that I have with it is everything is so cramped together. So sometimes with my fingers. I touch things that I don't really want to touch, so that's why we decided to just make our own template. So yeah, so let's break down the, the way we map this. Um, so what we do is, on, on the left side is the deck A and on the right side is deck B and yeah, we only make two deck template because we never use four decks, so that's why we do that. And we start with right here. On top, we map uh, eight hot cue point in here, and then underneath it is a loop link. It's the pre-designed pre uh, loop link. Actually, a tractor there is uh, more than this eight. There is still a uh, one sixteen and one eight and one thirty two, but we don't use that, so we don't map it there. Well, that's the beauty of it. You know, we don't need to map what we don't need, so. so yeah, so here's the loop section where we have the active loop to activate the loop and then this is to set in and set out the loop and then here we have the pitch fader and this is the nudge and then for browsing purpose we have this Can you actually touch it? Just, uh... Yeah, like this is just uh, to browse up and down and then we want to load the track we set up this load A and load B for both buttons. And then in EQ, this is something that we took kind of like a different approach. Most people use rotary, but we find that controlling rotary in a touch surface is a bit difficult, so that's why we're going with the fader, which works really well for us. And then in the transport, uh, we never use the Q point, the Q, because we always use the hot cue that we already set so we only have play and sync which is very handy when we play out and there is no monitor and on the play button uh, we assign an LED that blink when the track played so we know which deck that's actually playing and then in this part this is a fader for the channel in here we, we customize a, a to two fader that we put behind on the left is to represent the left the left side and on the right is to represent the right channel and this goes just to show what's going on in the track so we know exactly what's going on and it goes the same way on the other side and then we actually set out another page here it's an FX page and it's actually pretty straightforward uh, the way we do it is we just kind of lay it out like the way the effect in tractor is but in a, our particular layout the way we do it is always uh, we do the advanced effects on the top which is FX1 and FX2 and then in here is the FX3 and FX4 which is the chain FX so it works like this Right here. Like this is a delay, so that's how we do it. That's the way we do it. And then to assign to which decks and which effect, we map it over here to the left of the effect. And then on top of it, we map out the filter that's in the mixer. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this template is still a work in progress. Um, we're still trying to... We want to add another page just for browsing purpose, so it'll be easier to browse because at this moment what we have in the previous page is only... only You can only browse in the particular this particular window. 
we have yet to figure out uh, where we're gonna put the, where we can route the three routes so we can choose here and there so yeah uh, we're working on it and we're gonna keep you up to date with this EGRB template thank you thank you